welcome back guys to another 300 zx video today we got fuel filter to take off and to drain the old fuel out hopefully there's a drain plug if not we're gonna have to figure something out so let's go ahead and search under the car see if there's a drain plug and hopefully we can drain all the gas all right so here we are under the car as you guys can see and it appears this is the gas tank so there's this side here and then on the other side there's a similar one so that whole thing is a gas tank i'm hoping that's the drain so it has one on this side and has one on that side so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to hopefully drain them That side all drained. Now it's time to drain this side. So, same thing. It's a half inch, both of them. So, go ahead and drain this one out. Then, fuel filter. And that is side number two. Draining. I feel like there was a lot of gas left in here, so kind of a good thing. Drain it all out. Don't know how good that gas is. Especially if it's been sitting there for 15 plus years. So go ahead and let that drain out and close it back up and get back up to the engine. While we have the gas draining at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and come up here. As you can see, fuel filter. And then the engine bay makes it nice and easy to take out. So got our new one here. Should be fairly easy to take this one off. Got the bracket bolt right there. And then a couple of little screws here and there. This hose should come out, this one should come out, take it out, put the new one in, and it should be as easy as that. So let's go ahead and get this started. There we have it. Old fuel filter is out. Time to install our new one. So obviously the arrow shows what way the fuel should be going. So it just goes like that. Put our new lines in and That'll be that. Fuel filter now installed. So we have all this set up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the drain plug back on the fuel tank. And we should be done with the fuel assembly stuff. So fuel filter, old gas, and then we'll just put new gas in and throw a battery on there. And maybe we can get a start today, we'll see. But Go ahead, plug that up. Second drain plug on there. That takes care of our fuel problem. Now let's go ahead and put more gas in it. Damn, this is getting intense. Oh, I need to fix that. that. Maybe add some lube, but. Got some tools in here. Oh, All right, how do you open this? Uh, push. Did that open that? Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be a no. Just push, right? Oh. That doesn't sound good. Can I just pry it open? Huh. Interesting. Damn, that is dirty. So, I had to push the button while prying it open. Cause I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna have to fix that. Whew. That's dirty, man. Right? But let's see, remove slowly. Yeah, it's like opening up a, like a tomb or something. Well, like a. Whew. Anyways. Go ahead and get our fuel in there. By the way, this is a premium 91 octane. I don't know. Oh, yep, yeah, look, premium. So, 91 in there. Here we go. All right, that should be about four and a half gallons, something like that. So, takes care of our fuel system. So, go ahead and Close that back up. There we go. 
Leave that open just in case you need to do something with that. Nope. Oh, close that out. Make sure we ain't got no leaks or anything. So looking all good here. No oil leaks either. So that's good. Now back to our engine. We've got our intake plugged in. Get this old box out of the way. Just gotta make sure everything's plugged in. Uh, get all these tools out of the way. Oh, see, here we go. Go back to my. Plugged in. So obviously now we just need a battery. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this bare one up just in case we don't have any problems. Obviously, I'm gonna switch these out eventually and then put a battery. Maybe it'll start. Who knows? But tape that up. Oh look who it is. Somebody was a little sick, so she couldn't help today. But got this all taped up. Let's go ahead and put our battery. We got our battery, battery, <laughs> battery plugged in. So, are you ready? Yes. Well, first I gotta take off the fuse for the fuel. That way, we could crank it a couple times. We get the oil running. So, gonna go ahead and remove that, and then we'll start. All right. So here we are inside. Oh. We got sound. Ooh. See if we can hear our fuel pumps. Ooh. Kind of prime it a couple times. gonna give it a little baby baby start oh oh yeah I think so let's go check well unfortunately no start today guys sorry about that I'm gonna have to go check the battery again leave it charging again overnight but that's gonna do it for today's video guys sorry about that damn that sucks gosh next video we'll change the battery terminals that we have clean connections charge the battery up again check the starter damn sad day today guys sad day anyways i'll see you on the next one peace out and always keep improving